Hello friends and potential friends. I think I mentioned in my last uh, garden update that uh, I had picked up some mangoes at the grocery store a while back. Now I'll be totally honest with you, it was purely an impulse buy. I was walking through the produce section and I saw these really nice looking organic mangoes. And the first thought through my head was I bet I can grow those. So I picked up a few, brought them home. I've got two of them that have been in soil for here in the lab for oh, at least a week. I'd have to look at my notes to see exactly when I planted them. But that left me with six more seeds. And after that video was posted, my friend Dan from Dan's Permaculture Food Forest recommended that I start them outside. Well, I've, I've never started mangoes outside before. I've grown them before, but my problem is usually keeping them alive when, in the winter. The last few winters have been pretty mild down here, so I figured this is a good time to give it a shot again. And since I've got eight seeds total, why not make it a little bit of an experiment? Now in the past, the way I've grown these mangoes is I just take a mango seed and try to find which end is down and I just stick it in the soil and keep it watered and eventually they grow and that's exactly what I've got back here in the back those two seeds that I planted and then I decided well why not change things up I know with uh, peaches for example if you want to grow peaches from seed, you have to go through the trouble of breaking open that peach pit in order to get at the seed. So I decided to do the same thing with the mangoes. As you can see, I've opened a few of them up, and I have just the seeds. So I'm going to take those seeds and push them down into the soil. Now I'm going to make sure those get buried very pretty well and I'm trying to see which end is up and which end is down but it's hard to say so I'm gonna have to let just let the seeds figure that one out and then I'm gonna take two more and put them into the soil hope that one works out that's a little bit moldy on one end then I'm going to water all of these in, and these two over here I'm going to keep here in the lab to go along with the two that I didn't peel the seeds out of. I've got two here that are still in the seed husk, and two that are not in the seed husk. And I'm going to take those outside and put them in a nice sunny spot on the patio and see how well they do. That way I'll be able to compare number one. The difference between those sprouted inside in the lab and those sprouted outside. Number two, the difference between the ones where they're planted in the seed husk and those that have been removed from the seed husk. And we'll just see what happens. Hey, I like a good experiment, so at some point I'll bring you back and we'll see what kind of results I get. Well, for the record, It looks as if the mango seeds that I peeled and that I removed the husk from are the first to pop up, at least here in the lab. Both of those have got a little bit of growth coming out of the surface. The ones that I did not peel, mm, I'm not sure. That might be the start of a plant right there. Now these two incidentally were planted about a week before the others and it also looks as if I kept them a little bit too moist. They're almost waterlogged. But I'm gonna leave them in there and see what happens with them. But that one there in particular is definitely some growth. And I see that the seed part was still 
popping above the surface a little bit. So the other day when I was looking at that, and I, what I saw was just the seed popping out through the top of the soil. But now we have some growth. And just for a full comparison, these are the four outside. The first two here, I peeled the husks off of the seeds. And the other two, I left the seeds in the husks. And currently, I'm not seeing any growth out of any of them. But we're going to leave them in there and see what happens. Yeah, these are the four mangoes that I put outside. The first two, I peeled the husks off the seeds. The other two, I just planted the seed husk and all. And what do I spy? That one's trying to come out of the husk. Well, I think it's time to bring another experiment to a close. As you know, I'm, I planted eight mango seeds this year. Four of those, I peeled the husk off of the seed and just planted the seed directly. And four of those, I planted the seed husk and all. I put two of each of those combinations in the lab and two of each out here in the, on the patio. And the net results are yeah, I can grow mangoes from seed. Other than that, I'm not sure what I've learned because this guy over here and this guy over here were grown in the lab from seeds that I peeled the husk off of. This one, meanwhile, was grown outside from a seed that I left the husk on. These three pots in the front, those are the leftovers. This one and this one have seeds planted that don't have the husk. This one, as you can see, still has a husk. And none of those germinated. Not even close. The other two that had the husk in the lab, I've already pulled those up because they never did anything. But the only thing I can really say is, yep, I can grow mangoes from seeds. I'm not sure which combination is better. They both seem to work pretty well. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this experiment. These ones that did germinate, I'll be putting out in the mini orchard at some point. But for now, I'm going to keep them up here on the patio where they're safe till they get a little bit bigger. And till we figure out what the winter's going to do this year. So, I'll see you on the next video.